welcome viewers to another episode in this series of episodes where we've continued to look at the 2023 internal mathematics paper 2. If you haven't seen the other episode, please check out on our YouTube channel and also don't forget to download the companion app where we'll be able to find all the exam past papers, quizzes that we can help to practice. Remember, practice makes it permanent. Let us look at question 3. Question A of 3. Find the equation of the curve for which dy dx is equal to 12x to the power 3 minus 4x plus 5 at the point 0, comma, negative 2. B. The nth term of geometric progression is given by 180 multiplied by half to the power n. Find Loma numeral 1, first 3 terms. Loma numeral 2, common ratio. Loma numeral 3, sum to infinity of the progression. So these are the questions. So let me just create space and D, uh, focus on question A so that we solve one by one. So if you look at M, what the question is asking us is to find the equation of the curve. Then we're given the points. So what it means is we're given the differential which you can use to find the gradient of this equation. Then we are required to find the function. So how can you find the function? So we need to integrate. So this question is the same as the question that comes in an exam where they ask you to integrate. That's what they are assessing you on. So that's what you need to know. So y is equal to the integration of this function with respect to x. So the first thing is let us find an indefinite inte integral. Then we are going to find the constant using the coordinate that we've been given. So the first step is we have y is equal to, so there we're going to have 12, then x, 3 plus 1, then over, 3 plus 1 is a 4, the new power will be 4. So we divide by that new power. So the denominator I'm going to use red color so that for emphasis. Then next it will be 4, then x, which has the power 1, plus 1. So the new denominator is a 2. Then we move plus, then you have 5 x to the power 0. That's what 5 x means because x to the power 0 is a 1. 1 times 5 is a 5. Then to this one, we're going to add a 1. Then 1 plus 0 is 1. So the new denominator is a 1. Then we are going to add a constant c. So this c, we are going to find it using the coordinates that have been given. That's the importance of those coordinates. So at this point, we have y is equal to 4 into 12, we say 3, then x to the power 4, then minus 2x square, then plus 5x, then plus c. Then, we need to find the value of c. So, what do we do? We substitute the value. So at this point, y is equal to negative 2, according to that coordinate, then x is equal to 0. So meaning we have negative 2 equals 3, then 0 to the power 4, then minus 2, then 0 to the power 2, then plus 5, then 0 plus c. What you notice is this is 0, this is 0, then this is 0, because 0 to the, to, to the power 4 is a 0, times 3 is a 0. Then 0 to the power 2 times 2 is a 0. Then 5 times 0 is a 0. Hence, from here, we can tell now that negative 2 equals C. That's what it means. So now, we can just substitute in this function. Whatever they see, we are going to put in a 2 there. So, so of Y is equal to 3X to the power 4, then minus minus 2x square then plus 5x so minus 2x square plus 5x then minus 2 the value of c once you do that you're good to go then you would have answered this question you get these three marks so let us move to beam which is in the geometric progression so that we also answer that one we are told that the nth term of the geometric progression is given by this. We need to find the first three terms. So this is Loma numeral 1. So what it means is we are going to have Tn is equal to 118, then 1 over 2, then to the power n. 
if t is equal to 1, which is the first term, we're going to have 1 8 term multiplied by half to the power 1, which is equal to uh, 1 8 divided by 2, which is equal to 90. The half of 1 8 is 90. Then we need to find t2, which is equal to 1 8 multiplied by half to the power 2, which is equal to 1 8 multiplied by 1 over 4. Because the, the square of 1 over 2 is 1 over 4. Then this is going to give me 45. Then I find T3, which will be equal to 180, then 1 over 2 to the power 3, which is going to give me 180, then multiply by 1 over 8, which is going to give me 22.5 or 22 and a half. These are the first three terms. Once you do that, you get these two marks. Then we look at Lama numerator 2 the common ratio. So the common ratio R is given by T2 over T1 which should be the same as T3 over T2. What is T2? T2 is 45. T1 is 90. T3 is 22.5. So it's going to be 45 divided by 90 which is going to give me half. Then just to prove, so we are going to have 22, which is T3, 22.5 over 45, which is half. The common relation is half. You can even see it from the formula that what is in brackets, the one which is raised to the power n, you see, the common ratio. Then, Loma numero 3, sum to infinity of the progression. The sum to infinity of the progression will be determined by the value of R, which is the common ratio. So, if the common ratio is less than 1, which is the case in this case, you can also find this information on the first page of the question paper. So, sum to infinity in that case is given by A over 1R. So, what is A? A is the first term. So, the first term in this case is 90, which is A. So, this is A, which is the first term. So, we're going to have 90 over 1 minus 0 0.5, which is F. So, at this point, we're going to have 90 divided by 0 0.5, which is going to give me 180. So, 180 is the sum to infinity. So, once you do this, you are good to go. You would have answered all the questions on question 3. So, thank you for joining me in this episode. Please join me in the next episode as we look at question 4.